Hello and welcome to a new video on tutorialspedia.com. Today in this video, I'll be talking about integration challenges associated with Interwise application integration projects. Before I proceed, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I will request you to please subscribe to the channel to get latest updates from the channel. Enterprise application integration projects are designed and developed to facilitate communication between heterogeneous internal and external systems and applications in any organization. Enterprise application integration projects play a very key and significant role in any organization as all the data transformation, translation, and communication is through this layer. So it's very important to take EAI layer into uh, consideration for all possible challenges, risks, and problems that are associated with it. And it's important that such issues are addressed and such challenges are foreseen in order to avoid any future problems. The first and the most critical challenge associated with any enterprise application integration project is its scalability. Businesses normally continue to evolve and grow uh, with the passage of time. And with the growth in business, all the data communication that takes place in, uh, inside the organization through the integration layer also grows. And it's very important that integration projects are designed and developed in such a way that in future with the growth of data transformation, data translate, translation, and data communication, integration layer does not become a bottleneck. Because if integration layer uh, becomes a bottleneck, overall business is impacted and all systems which are um, associated with the organization ecosystem and which are relying on the, com on the communication channels uh, exposed by the integration layer are affected. It's very important that uh, you take scalability into consideration from all aspects uh, when you are, uh, you are taking architectural decision and when you are designing and developing your integration layer. It should be ensured that your integration layer can deal with and can handle uh, multiple streams of data. It can uh, communicate with all the associated parties uh, with, with a good throughput and with a, with a good transformation and translation rates. And also in future, when you get a high flux of data uh, from multiple internal and external parties at your inbound and outbound layer, uh, your application is able to process those uh, uh, in, 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 in an efficient manner and throughput of your application is not uh, compromised. The next important thing uh, that uh, becomes a challenge sometimes uh, for integration project is tight coupling with the tools and product technology stack. When you are uh, taking the decision to initiate a enterprise application integration project in your organization, a very important step at that time is selection of your technologies and your products and how uh, those technologies and products best fit into your organization. But it should also be taken into consideration that no uh, technology and no product lives forever. And there are always uh, uh, possibilities for any such scenarios where you have to change from some specific tool set or some specific products or technologies to different tools and technologies. But for enterprise integration projects, this becomes a problem because uh, many a times when you are going to migrate from one product uh, set to another product set for your integration projects, it becomes a hassle because uh, you need skills, uh, skillful uh, resources for, for, for both type of technologies. Take an example that you are uh, moving from, uh, for, for example, if you are moving from Microsoft Vistock to uh, TIPCO BusinessWorks, uh, in such a project, you need a skill set uh, uh, in Microsoft Vistock as well as in TIPCO BusinessWorks in order to uh, ensure that all the transformations and all the migration from uh, one product to the uh, second product is done smoothly and seamlessly. And uh, for such scenarios, it's also very important and it's uh, also a challenge that uh, many uh, features associated with one product might not be available in the other product or they might be available in the other product in a different way and you need to have some learning curve involved in this to make sure that uh, your overall business is not impacted while you're moving from one tool set or one product set to another one. 
another problem or another challenge associated with the enterprise application integration projects is lack of best practice adoption when uh, you are uh, designing and developing integration projects which involves communication with uh, dozens of internal and external parties and you have uh, multiple integration channels integration endpoints associated with different uh, vendors different parties and different partners uh, many a times your teams don't follow the best practices and you don't have uh, uh, best practices uh, at your organization level at, or at project level and in that case it always becomes a problem in future whenever you have to make any changes whenever to you have to reuse or whenever there is any uh, any such architectural decision that you have to make uh, for for any changes or amendments in your project so it's very important that in any organization for integration projects best practices are uh, standardized and then they are enforced to make sure that all the projects and all the integration services that are developed follow those best practices this saves a lot of time in future whenever you have uh, to move from uh, one uh, approach to another and also it helps your uh, the new developer and new teams to uh, to get the knowledge more quickly and to understand things in a better way and this helps you uh, overall in serving your customers also in a better way well the next uh, challenge associated with the uh, enterprise application integration projects is the rapid and abrupt uh, revisions and changes associated with these uh, uh, projects the problem uh, with the integration layer is that you have a lot of parties involved at uh, internal as well as external level and uh, there are always uh, a lot of changes uh, that take place haphazardly and abruptly and you have to respond to them because you have to ensure that integration layer keeps the business going in smooth manner so in this situation the biggest challenge that uh, that is faced at integration layer is that you have continuous changes coming into you uh, you uh, from different channels and you have to follow those so uh, the problem with the continuous or abrupt revisions and changes is that uh, often uh, the challenge is that uh, your developers or your uh, whoever is involved in the, that project and uh, development and uh, design of those uh, integration services they uh, omit or they uh, don't follow the best practices with this uh, this type of continuous change so these continuous changes uh, result in also sometime performance uh, degradation and other issues associated with such uh, abrupt changes so it, it's very important that in any organization at organizational level processes are designed and processes are followed to make sure that any changes at such a critical layer the integration layer is, are done in a well designed and well formed fashion and there are no such uh, haphazard changes which may overall disrupt the business the next uh, challenge associated with the enterprise application integration project is selection of the technology stack when you are going to uh, start integration of multiple systems and application in your organization at first place the very important step is to uh, select which project which products or which technologies you are going to use and there are multiple uh, factors uh, that you uh, you, you uh, look into while deciding the technology stack for example you have to decide between open source and proprietary products based on your budget based on your needs and based on your future business uh, um, prospects and also you have to take into consideration that are you going to have any in-house development for your integration services and integration project or you are going to use some off the shelf product uh, and in that case are you going to take the support from uh, from that particular vendor or what kind of uh, support model you are going to use cost quality time to market and support and maintenance concerns are uh, always uh, very important for you to take into consideration while deciding on such uh, uh, such uh, technology selection uh, matters right so these are uh, five uh, challenges that are associated with uh, any int integration project that uh, i wanted to share with you so if you like the video please uh, do subscribe the channel for uh, getting the latest videos in future as well. Thank you very much.